Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU. And in today's tutorial, I'm incredibly excited to show you how to jailbreak iOS 13 through 13.4.1, the latest public firmware as of recording this video, and even future iOS 13 releases on the iPhone 10 being the A11 CPU and below on a Windows-based PC with CheckRain. That's right, if you do have a Windows computer, I'm finally going to show you how to jailbreak with CheckRain. The only caveat is that you do need access to a USB flash drive as well as a wired keyboard. Now, the reason for this is because CheckRain has yet to be officially released for Windows, but we're going to be making use of a Linux distribution, one that's specifically intended for solely jailbreaking with CheckRain. And it's incredibly lightweight, incredibly small, super simple to actually get set up. Really, like I said, the only thing you need is USB flash drive and a wired keyboard, as well as, of course, your Windows-based PC, and that is it. And because these are trying times, I know you might not have access to a USB flash drive. So down below in the description on my website, I actually did a detailed write-up of not only the written steps for this video tutorial, but it will also contain download links and a USB flash drive from Amazon for just five bucks that is currently on Amazon Prime. So again, if you don't have one, you can check there, but the requirements for this are very, very minimal. In fact, you only even need a flash drive that's really just a gig or better. That's it. It can even be USB 2.0 because this is so lightweight. So for just $5, the USB flash drive linked in the article that's mentioned previously will work just fine. So with that said, let's go over everything you need to know prior to actually jailbreaking. First though, I wanted to give a huge, huge shout out to Foxlit. I will have their Twitter account linked below in the description as well. They're actually the one behind this project and also the Void Linux team in general for the main distribution. So links to everything, like I said, can be found below. Now, as for the caveats, like I said, you do need access to a flash drive, a wired keyboard, but that's not all. Just like with the Mac OS version, every other caveat still applies. The main one being that this does not function on newer devices. So if you do have an A12 or A13 powered device like the iPhone 11 series, or of course its predecessors being the iPhone XR and iPhone XS series, or any of the A12 powered iPads, you will not be able to jailbreak via this method. That's because it takes advantage of a hardware-based vulnerability, meaning one found with inside the silicon of the chip powering these devices themselves. Apple has since patched it with the release of the A12 processor and newer, so that's why it doesn't work on those devices, but that does mean that for supported devices, iPhone 10 and older, it will work for life. If you do have a newer device, you can only jailbreak right now on iOS 13.3 utilizing Uncover. A new jailbreak will come at some point, so be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out. I'll keep you guys updated literally every single step of the way. Now, also, be because this is a tethered jailbreak. That means in addition to actually requiring a computer, if you want to use your jailbreak stuff and you reboot, meaning your device turns off and you turn it back on, you will have to rerun through these steps. So that means you have to have access to your computer, plug into it via USB and run through everything that we're about to go over. Like I said, this is a tethered jailbreak, so it does not persist through reboots. You actually have to go through and you have to exploit the device's boot ROM every time, but you can still use all of your stock applications when you reboot, so you won't be locked out of anything that you have by default. It'll basically just be like an unjailbroken device when you reboot. Like I said though, the process is very, very simple. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, let's just get straight into this. Like I mentioned previously, the article down below in the description is going to be your go-to for everything, including a very, very cheap USB flash drive for just $5 if you don't have access to one. Now, what I want you guys to do is just scroll down below all of the written steps. I highly recommend reading through them if you're encountering any sort of issues, however, and going to the download section. I want you to click on where it says boot range the 
big purple button there and just wait while the site gathers the download links. Then on this page right here, I want you guys to look for one thing where it says click here. And once you do, you will then be redirected to the official GitHub for this project. And I want you to download the Bootrain Live CD 64-bit version. So just click on it and it will immediately begin downloading. Head back over to the aforementioned article and click on the corresponding button to download Rufus. This is a bit of software we're going to use to actually flash the ISO to your flash drive. So scroll down and just click where it says Rufus 3.9. This version number may be higher based on when you're watching this video, but just click on the latest version. And uh, once you do have both of those things downloaded, either place them on your desktop or a place that you can easily access and remember, or just reference your downloads folder. You're going to need it. Now, switching on over to Windows here, what I want you guys to do is plug your flash drive into your computer and then launch up File Explorer. Now, inside of File Explorer, navigate to this PC over on the left-hand side and find your flash drive. Mine is already titled for Rufus because I've already formatted it. It is listed as Drive E, but it's going to basically just depend on your computer, what you have plugged into it, so on and so forth. And uh, then just right-click on on that flash drive once you have located it and verified that it is indeed your flash drive and then click on format. You may also receive a notification the very first time you plug your flash drive into your computer asking you to format it for the first time. If you don't, you're gonna have to do it manually which is what I'm showing you right now. The net result is the same. You will have this pop-up window right here. Leave everything at default though I do recommend double checking the file system. What is recommended is that if you have an eight gigabyte flash drive or lower, so anything less than eight gigabytes, select FAT32, should automatically default to that. Anything above eight gigabytes, you wanna go with NTFS. And once you do that, make sure that quick format is set. You can title it anything you want under the volume label here, and then just click on start, followed by okay to the pop-up and Windows will just go through the default format process. We can go ahead and click on okay to that pop-up. Now we can close out a file explorer. We're done. Launch up Rufus. So just double click on the executable and then click on yes when you receive the prompt as to whether you want to run it. And it should automatically select your flash drive, though if you have multiple external drives plugged in, you're going to have to specify. Just click on the drop down there and any ones that meet the criteria will appear here. So we just formatted it, our four Rufus eight gigabyte flash drive. Let's just go with that. And then you want to click on select to the right of disk or ISO image. You will then receive a pop-up similar to this. Point this window at the Bootrain ISO we downloaded previously. Click on open and just leave everything at default. Just like before though, during the formatting process, I want you guys to verify that the file system type is correct based on whether or not you have an eight gigabyte flash drive or higher. So FAT32, eight gigabyte or below, eight gigabyte or above, NTFS. And once you've done that, make sure that your status is set to ready. You should already be at this point though, and then just click on start. And then you may receive this pop-up right here saying that this image uses Sys Linux and you need to download a couple of things from the internet. So go ahead and click on yes if you do receive this pop-up. It shouldn't take long and then it will immediately proceed to this pop-up asking you to write in ISO image mode. Click on OK because that's exactly what we want and then click on OK one more time. It's warning you that all data on the drive will be destroyed. That's fine. This is the only reason we're using this drive anyway. So go ahead and click on OK to that and it's going to go through and write to our flash drive. It's going to burn the image to it. So let's go ahead and wait for this process to complete. It shouldn't take long at all. I have a USB 2.0 flash drive, guys. So this thing is ancient and it completes in less than one minute. So just give it some time and uh, be patient. Okay, so now it is complete. I want you guys to just close out and reboot your computer now. So turn it off and then turn it back on. But before you do turn it on, I wanna say that you need to access your device's BIOS. So let's get into exactly what that means. Now accessing your computer's BIOS is dynamic, not static, which means it will change based on who your motherboard manufacturer is. Down below in the description, that very first link will actually contain another link to an article detailing exactly 
exactly how to enter BIOS based on your motherboard manufacturer. For me, it is delete. So I rapidly press the delete key at the time of boot. It will change for you though, based on your manufacturer, as I said. So definitely reference that link below in the description. Now, what I'm going to do is plug my computer and I have it set to basically reboot the second I have it connected and I'm just going to rapidly press the delete key. I know this is how I enter BIOS on this machine. So let's just go ahead and continually press delete. Okay, so here we are. What I want you guys to do now is with your flash drive plugged in, remember I said you guys need to keep your flash drive plugged in. I want you to find the boot override settings. This will also be dynamic, but with just a little bit of tabbing through, and you can do this just with your computer's keyboard. And it also does depend on um, whether or not your BIOS does have this kind of visual dashboard. But like I said, each one is different. You can find it. It's pretty easy. Most of the time it will be under something like power management or peripherals. For me, I know that I can easily bypass or override my boot settings by going into save and exit. And you can see right here, this is the exact option I want. Um, this is my flash drive right here, the SanDisk Cruiser Glide, and I want the UEFI version. There are two options here. Definitely select the UEFI version, and then I'm just going to click on enter or return. I want to make sure that you guys can see this though. UEFI SanDisk Cruiser Glide boot override. So this will look different, the verbiage will be different, but the overall principle is exactly the same. We're telling the computer to boot from that flash drive instead of its internal hard drive or SSD. So I'm going to press enter or return now, and it's just going to boot exactly from that. Now you have a few different options. Once you are at this screen, I want you guys to select the top one, which is just USB safe. Go ahead and hit enter or return, and uh, your computer will boot up into this specific Linux distribution here. And once you're at this point where it says void live login down below at the bottom, I want you to type in anon. So A-N-O-N, hit enter or return for the password. It's just void Linux. And this will be listed down below in the description as well. And uh, once you do type that in, you will then have root access. And I want you guys to type in sudo, that's S-U-D-O space check rain. So that's C-H-E-C-K-R-A-1-N. And then hit enter or return and it will launch up check rain. So guys, this is the exciting point. I mean, we have check rain running on our Windows-based PC right here. Now, take your other USB cable. I'm saying other because I actually have two lightning cables, one for my keyboard and then the other one for my phone, and go ahead and connect it to your phone. You can't have anything in between, so no docks. Use an official lightning cable. And then uh, if you do receive this pop-up, you can click on trust. Um, but you can also just bypass it relatively easily by just arrowing over and then hitting enter or return on start. So you can see right here, the selection is set to start right now. Let's also go ahead and zoom in real quick so you guys get a better view of this. And I'm just going to change some things up. So there we go. And uh, I'm going to hit enter or return right now over start and then enter or return again over next, and it's just going to send the device into recovery mode. Now, this is exactly like the version on Mac OS. It does this to protect your file system on your device. Now, it has detected that it is in recovery. It's bypassed this, and it's just walking you through how to enter DFU mode. You're going to click enter or return over start, and then it will actually go through these steps. For an iPhone 10 or 8 style device, you're going to hold down the side and volume down buttons together, then release the side and continue holding volume down when it tells you to, and uh, just follow the steps. Uh, they are dynamic based on your device. Uh, it is actually easier to enter DFU mode on older devices as well. So let's go ahead and hit enter or start, and we're going to hold down the side and volume down buttons together release the side button, continue holding volume down for again, iPhone 10 or iPhone 8 style devices. And it should automatically bypass this screen and go through the jailbreak process. 
So it's about to exploit the device's boot ROM right now. I'm so stoked, guys. Jailbreaking with check rain on a Windows computer. And uh, it will actually throw up an error at the end, but we don't need to worry about that because it's already going through the jailbreak process. This is how you know it's working right here. If you see that scrolling text. And you can see that now we are at our lock screen. There's the error. It's just a USB error, negative 77, but we do have check rain. So let's go ahead and just launch up check rain. And we have a Wi-Fi connection as well. If you don't have an active internet connection on your device, you won't be able to do this, but uh, just connect to the internet, guys. And you can download and install Cydia. So it's downloading the base system for Cydia right now. And once it's done with that and installing Cydia, it will be on our device's springboard. So there we go. Let's launch up Cydia. And uh, as is best practice, I obviously want you guys to go to changes and then do a full upgrade. So right here, just when you receive this pop-up where it says two essential upgrades or however many based on you know when you're actually doing this and the packages that are available for upgrade, just tap on complete upgrade. I'm going to ignore it temporarily just to show you guys inside of the main section of Cydia that it does in fact confirm that this is an iPhone 10,3 running iOS 13.4.1, the latest firmware as of the time of recording this video with the latest version of Cydia. How awesome is this, guys? Jailbroken via check rain with a Windows-based PC. And it was super, super easy. We only needed to download two things and it just took a few minutes. And now you can use that USB flash drive to boot from when inside of your computer's BIOS to, of course, boot your device tethered once more. You're going to have to do that every single time you power off your device when you want to use your jailbreak stuff. Like I said, though, and like I showed you, it's super, super easy to do, and the reliability of it is just fantastic. So that wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you don't know what to do now that you are jailbroken, check out some of our latest Top Tweaks videos. will be linked down below in the description as well as in your cards now. And uh, yeah, guys, enjoy jailbreaking. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.